So Braden's just sight fishing them right now. You can see we've had a pretty, pretty awesome day. So the really unique thing about Lake Simcoe, a lot of people think ice fishing, you sort of drill a hole and then you just jig and you hope for the best. Um, here, the water is extremely clear. We're in about 15 feet and I can actually see the bottom and yep. I can see the perchages bit. So nice. That's a small one. We're gonna let him go. But uh, sight fishing in 15 or 16 feet of water is pretty neat. What bait are you throwing there? It's a Great Lakes Finesse taco spoon. Straight silver, little Jensen egg on the back. Um, it does a couple things. It gives the fish a target to bite and it also helps the bait kind of swim away from the hole when you yeah, drop it. See if you can get another one. Any fish down there? I don't see any right now. So yeah, that's the, so far we've caught, I don't know, we're well over a hundred fish caught on the day. Yeah, we've let more than half of them go. Yeah, we're just trying to keep, you know, not the true, true giants, but the, you know, the good eater size. Um, the spoon is funny enough, it's called the taco spoon. He's got another one on. This one's better. This one's better. So the reason why the spoon is called the taco spoon is because the guys who designed this bait love fish tacos and they've been keeping this bait a secret for many years and we As got you our can hands see why <laughs> yeah and you can see why um yeah truly truly unique bait this is again the glow i'll show you which one i've been having a lot of luck with this is like a glow white um let me see if i can show you this glow white oh another one on it this is literally how our day's been going yeah. we've been out here for I don't know, about three or four hours and We've caught well over a hundred. Yeah, just throw that one back. But yeah, so before I was rudely interrupted, that's the spoon there. Um yeah, silver silver blade on the back. And it's just been a fun day. Like it's just if you come out on Lake Simcoe at a Beaverton, um man, it's just it's so much fun. The, you know, the nice thing about uh, another one. Alright, he just <laughs> <laughs> Let's school of small ones here one after another but hey you know it's awesome you know if you want to get someone introduced to ice fishing i highly recommend perch fishing yes. um, whether it's it's kids or you know adults that have never experienced it if you want to you know show them what it's like you can see the bottom so that's what we're looking at right now and um let's see if we can see you have a fish there yeah a couple there so I just got one there. See them coming right up. Yeah. So this is Lake Simcoe is sort of known as being a one of the best fisheries in the world for a bunch of things. Specifically those little guys. Yellow perch. There's not too many places you can go and catch jumbo yellow perch all day long. It's the middle of the day right now. Isn't yeah, it? let's show you guys, you know, basically the size of these things. I mean, that's pretty much the, some of the bigger ones we got today. They're so big, you can school. put the camera down the hole. There's a school, a bunch right. of them. Got a I don't bunch. know if you can see them all there, but there's a whole bunch of them down there. I'm trying to play keep away from the little ones. Get the big ones to bite, which is the cool thing about uh, see clear, clear water. a little one but still fun take a kid fishing catch these all day long nothing better yeah so we're gonna keep at it here um this really was a, a midday update to show you guys what was going on and brain's having all the fun i'm holding the camera <laughs> i want to get back down there and, and get some more of these these big ones that seem to be coming by occasionally i don't know again we're trying to just keep keep the ones we're going to eat we don't want to have too much work when we get home for cleaning. Um, yeah, so Lake Simcoe, Beaverton. Um, we set out, I don't know, we're not too far outside of the, the launch there in town. And, um, you know, the nice thing is after this, we can go get a hot meal. We'll get a drink in town. It's not too far from home right here in Durham region. And man, that taco spoon is just... Absolutely smash it. We started with a wrap, a wrap of jigging wrap. That's usually a, a really good bait out here. 
and uh, but this this spoon um, this taco spoon has just been I think it's new they haven't really seen it and it's effective anyway catch up with you soon oh never mind let's see what he's got a hey, good one no, small one again small one anyway still, can't beat it catching fish all day long bring a kid out here they're gonna have a blast man so much fun Giant. Oh my god. I don't see your bait. You don't see it? No. Oh, I see it now. Oh there you go. Yep. Yeah. Wow. That's a beast. Oh man. That's cool. That's a tank. Oh. Can't see it's too dark. Hold on. Hold on. Wow. Check this guy out. Just eat. That's a good one. A taco spoon. They're just engulfing it. Anyway. Right, right. Checking in from Lake Simcoe again. Dan is going to give you a rundown of the tackle that we're using. So, um, as you can see, we've had a pretty good day. Um, I just want to show you guys how we go about catching fish. First and foremost, you got to find the fish. So, again, we I like to fish shallow. It's just a preference of mine. I spend a lot of time learning about it. Um, we do a lot of sight fishing. Um, if the fish aren't shallow, you know, sometimes we gotta go deep, but I wanna run through the baits that we use today. Um, the first is, this is the, um, the taco spoon. Um, so it's a small, small spoon. I don't know if you can see that. That's the glow chartreuse, one of my favorite colors out here, um, silver back. Um, I tip it with a, with like a small rubber egg. You can use any, anything you really want. Today they wanted this like orangey one. Uh, but essentially just, <laughs> once you see it, they just, you know, you just put it down, you just jig it up and down. What I like to do is, uh, it actually wobbles and it kind of swims away from the hole. So once it's down, you kind of stop it. Once it hits bottom, pull it up off bottom and then just jig it. And then just kind of like small little, you know, jigs, like really light, uh, jigs. And usually they'll, they'll just, uh, anyway, we couldn't keep them off <laughs> for several periods of the day. Uh, so that's the the taco spoon um, that's made actually by a company called Great Lakes Finesse and uh, we we're fortunate to be one of the first ones to get to use this new bait. Second one is the um, is the old fashioned the old fashioned jig and wrap. This is their small version. I usually tip it with a with a small. Uh, that's actually a Berkeley Power Maggot. Um, pretty cool little. I don't know, I don't know why they like it, but I actually switch out, these These actually come with a treble hook on the bottom and I switch it for a little single hook. And the main reason I do that is, generally these fish will come up, come in school, so you wanna get your fish off as quickly as possible. So if you have a treble hook, you're more likely to spend a lot of time trying to get that fish um, off the hook and the faster you get the bait off the, like the bait out of the fish's mouth and back down, the more luck you'll have. So, you know, we showed you that picture or the video of those fish, a lot of the time, you know, we'll bring, we'll catch like two to five, you know, one to five fish every time they come in from the school. Um, some of the bigger ones, when again, we're sight fishing these fish, what we found was the big, big ones would kind of come in last. So you get a big flurry of fish, some good jumbos, and then a really big, big one. So the biggest ones today, um, you know, about half of the big ones came on this little bait. And it basically is designed to mimic, you know, a little goby. Um, you can see that well, Braden, can you see that? Yep. So honestly, all we've been doing with this bait is it's not really a bait that attracts them, but if they're down there and you got a buddy or you're fishing with someone, you got a group of people and there's fish around, literally just put that bait on the bottom and just like barely move it. It almost looks like a little juvenile goby and the, the big jumbos will, will key right in and they'll suck it right off the bottom. So, um, we caught several giants on them. This is just the green pumpkin. Uh, color. It's just a standard green pumpkin. Again, this is made by uh, Great Lakes Finesse. This is their their flat cat. Um, it's really small. It's only about two inches long. So it's really small. The fish can eat it and uh, catch the big one. So those are the three baits that we were running through today that we had a lot of success with. So if you do come out to Lake Simcoe, um, if you use any of these three baits, especially the, the taco spoon, the jigging wrap, if those were your only two baits and you didn't even have the this little guy, you're going to catch fish there. If you're around fish, they're going to eat it. So come on out, enjoy this fishery. It's incredible. We're going to get back at it.